Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate Flipgrid onto your Canvas page without students having to ever leave Canvas. It'll all be right here. So you can see right now, um, I don't typically have it like this, but for the purposes of this video, I put it like this. I have a Canvas, um, I don't know what to call it, like link. <laughs> it's in my navigation. And I also have it as part of some of my assignments. So to show you really quick, um, for example, this is one of my assignments and they can directly, the students can directly add a video to Flipgrid to the assignment page. And then I, it will all come up as if they were submitting a regular assignment on Canvas. So the first thing that you need to do, and we're gonna open another tab and you're gonna have Flipgrid open. You're gonna create, an account or log in with your Gmail or your Microsoft login. For my Hillsborough County people, we're going to use our Microsoft login, which is our Lawson number, because it's linked to our Canvas account. Once you're logged in, you'll see, like, you'll create a class and you'll see it. Um, you're going to click right over here where there's your little emoji, it's your profile picture. You're going to click on that and you're going to click on integrations. Now you can see I already have two, so let me delete this one really quick just to show you what it looks like. You're going to click on Add New Integration, and you're going to add a name for it, so you can put it whatever. Mine is just Canvas. Um, I believe this might work the same way for like Google Classroom and things like that. I'm not 100% sure, but we're just going to put Canvas Test. Create. And then you're going to see that you have your consumer key and your shared secret key. Your shared secret. You're going to need those to integrate Flipgrid. So you're going to go back to Canvas and you're going to click on settings. Once you're in settings, you want to click on apps and you're going to come to this page that has external apps. You're going to look for Flipgrid or you can just type it in here. So here's Flipgrid and you're going to click add app. Now you see this pops up and it says consumer key and shared secret. You're just going to go back to the Flipgrid and you're going to copy your consumer key and you don't even have to like highlight it or anything. Once you click copy, it automatically copies it to your clipboard and you're going to paste it in here. Um, same thing with your shared secret. You're going to copy and paste it into here. Then you'll click add app and it's going to do it all by itself. From there, if you want to have it pop up over here as a link in your navigation, you'll go to navigation and you'll look for Flipgrid through in your apps. And when you find your Flipgrid, I know this isn't Flipgrid, but to show you, you'll click on the three dots and you'll click enable. And then make sure you scroll down and click save so that it saves it. Now that's how you get Flipgrid over here as a link on your side on the navigation. To get it into your one of your assignments, you're going to click on assignments and you're going to add an assignment. I'm going to call this one Flipgrid test and I'm just going to put this is a test for Flipgrid. This is where your directions for your Flipgrid will go and the students will be able to see it. This is where the title of the Flipgrid is going to go. So all of my Flipgrids, you'll see over here, I'll show you, all of my Flipgrids are titled Flipgrid and then it has the name of the actual assignment just because I have other assignments on Canvas, but that's just me being um, trying to organize everything on my Canvas. So you'll scroll down, you'll see where it says submission type. Where it says submission type, you want to click, it'll probably be on no submission, you want to click on external tool. From there, you're going to click on find, and you are going to look for Flipgrid. I have two Flipgrids up here because I made a mistake the first time, um, and it was because I used a different email address than my Canvas email address. So make sure that whatever email address you use for your Flipgrid account, it's linked to your Canvas. So I'm going to click on the bottom one because that's the one that's linked. And you're going to click on Select. Now, if you want it to open a new tab, um, you click this button, but I don't want it to open a new tab. I want Flipgrid to be directly on my Canvas page, so I'm not going to click it. And then we'll click Save. 
and you'll see that it automatically generates a Flipgrid topic, I guess that's the correct term, for you. So it's all right there and all the students have to do is click record and they, it automatically posts. So let me show you what it looks like now from the student perspective. So I'm going to click on student view and I'm going to go to my assignments and I'm going to go find my Flipgrid test. Okay, it automatically loaded right on there for me and so if as a student, because it's connected to my Canvas account, they don't even have to make an account. It's already there. And I'm not going to show you because I'm not going to show you my students' personal information, but I checked the list of um, all my students on my Flipgrid account. It shows their names the way it looks on Canvas. It even has the email addresses for the parents who are observing their Canvas, so it's really convenient. And they're able to just record, so they're able to just click record. And now you're gonna see me, um, they'll click anywhere, and it just pops up right here. And then they'll record it, and it's gonna record. Um, the only, th I think you can go on Flipgrid and probably edit the length of time. When they're done, they'll click pause and they'll click next. Um, the only, th I think you can go on Flipgrid and probably. So then that's gonna pop up and then you can, ed they can edit it if they want, click next. They'll take a selfie if they want. They'll click next. And then it's uploading. That's a terrible picture, but we're gonna ignore that. And it's great, and they put their display name and it's perfect. It's great because you, they don't have to leave Canvas. So I hope this video helped you out. Um, let me know if there's anything else that you want to learn.